Hello, Bell and team. My name is Allie Green, and I am an account executive with the Business and Community Health Department. With how our world has changed in the last year, we have all become familiar with new ways of connecting through virtual platforms. Between meetings, presentations, and town halls, it has been a journey learning etiquette through the web, which our business and community health team likes to call Webiquette. Over this past year, we have captured clips of Randy Van Stratton doing some of the suggested do's and don'ts of Webiquette, and we have made our top 10 list that we feel is important to share with all of you. Don't make the same mistakes Randy made. So here is our top 10 list of Webiquette starting with number 10. When signing into your virtual platform, have your camera on and ready. We want to see your face. Eva, Eva, how does this camera thing work? Dad, not again. Tell me you're not wearing that old hat. I told you I would give you a oh. COVID haircut. Number nine, test the technology beforehand, especially if you have not used certain features on the platform before. Chris, thank you for inviting me to the corporate board meeting to report out on the employer relationship factor this month. Really appreciate it. Number eight, dress appropriately. Business on the top and party can still be on the bottom. What was that, Jim? Yes, Jim, I do I do have that financial number. I do, just, just a minute, just a minute. It's 11.9%, uh, it's 11.9. Number seven, avoid being late to meetings and remember to put yourself on mute when you log in or when you are not talking. Yes, 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 I'm on, I'm on just a minute. I'm just figuring out how to turn on my camera. <laughs> Number six, reduce background noise. Be sure to mute yourself when you are not speaking. What? You think that's me? My computer fan? What? What? Number five, it is okay to be a chatty Kathy, but remember to take a pause to let others speak. So yeah, I didn't realize it was Lent, so I packed a turkey sandwich today and then I like, well, you know what? I'm going to head over to Lockstock. Love egg salad at Lockstock is the best. But then I never know what to get, what type of wrap to get. You know, they have the sun dried tomato, they have the veggie. I don't know. But then, you know, then I also, you can get romaine or you can spinach. I know spinach is better for you, but you know what? I love that crunch in an egg salad with that romaine, just that, just that bite. And then, of course, the sprouts. Got to have sprouts on that. And then, you know, the other thing that I love there is they put that red onion. So I was thinking, should I get red onion? Maybe not. You know, with that red onion, then wearing a mask all day, I'm thinking, do I want to breathe that onion breath of mine all day long? I don't know. So anyway, maybe I'll go to Subway. I don't know. Number four, before logging on, check your background. You don't want it to be distracting for other people in the meeting. Hey, Randy, do you have the $10 you owe me for the egg salad wrap? I, I mean, it's been like six months. Oh, oh, sorry. Number three. Avoid eating during a meeting unless it is a lunch meeting. Number two, avoid doing anything related to hygiene during a meeting. And last but not least, number one, the best way to have a great online meeting or event is to keep it interesting with adding new or fun features. You know, I, I just think we need to make these virtual meetings more fun. You know, like, um, um, like, uh, like music, music, um, um, like uh, confetti, confetti, and you know, like, like dance, dance. Yes, 
Jim. Jim, I do 